we've got our trees planted and all of our plants in our planting beds mulch and they're taking very nicely, looking really good. We also have all of our sod in now and I tell you that really changes not just the look of the house but also how it feels out here. Now before we planted anything we had Mark Linneman come out and install our irrigation system and now he's back to show us how the controller works. So Mark you got this just about wrapped up huh? Yep, all set, Great. ready to go. So now this is the brains of the operation. Yes, it controls all the heads, soaker lines, whatever we have on the line. So now, what would a basic program be for the type of yard that we have here? With the new sod, we've got it actually turned to, so it starts three times a day. There's one, two, three. Okay. And then the, the, the amount of minutes per zone based on the type of heads that are in there, either a rotary head or a rotating nozzle head okay. or the drip, and it's watering every single day. Okay. We'll do that for about two weeks. Once we get everything established, then we'll back it off to watering every other day. So we get an inch of water a week. Now we've got a few different types of heads out in the yard. So you want to uh, show us how those work? Sure. The large turf rotating heads, they'll cover a larger turf area and they run for 25 minutes okay. or plus for this new sod application. Okay. And then the rotating nozzles, they water about the same amount of time because the same application as far as the water that's put down on those heads. Okay. And the drip obviously is a different setup all by itself. Now you also have some pop-up spray heads. Yes, we do. Where the application needs it is when the area is shorter and the distance is that. So you don't use rotary heads to spray all over, just like less water in the streets and everything else. It covers the smaller spray areas. Now I've said this before, it bothers me when people are watering while it's raining. So that's not going to happen with this, right? No, it has a rain sensor as well as a weather station on it. So it basically dictates how long it's going to run based on temperature and solar radiation. If it rains, it just stops at mid-cycle. I mean, it's, it will stop and not run again until the rain sensor dries out. So basically what it does is it goes to the seasonal adjustment and actually takes the running times and reduces the running times when it's cooler out. If it's hotter out, it actually will increase those running times on each zone by a few minutes at a time. Now this system is going to eventually have remote capabilities? Correct. Actually, it is in the works at the present time right now. So it eventually will be any smart device you'll be able to control your controller on as well. Well, this system is going to be great to help us really get this stuff established.